Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to talk about hirudoid or hirudoid cream for Peyronie's disease, for penile pain, swelling, and vascular disorders of the penis. Now, um, please note I'm not a doctor and I believe this is not meant to be used on your penis. I think there might even be a statement on the pamphlet that says don't put it on your genitals. But that said, um, I want to talk about my own experiences. So, you know, just use it at your own risk and realize that I'm just giving you kind of my opinion on it. And I will share the experiences of men on the Peyronie's forum and uh, in my Discord. So anyway, um, why did I get interested in this? Well, on the Peyronie's forum, there was a topic, uh, a post that got pretty popular uh, several months ago on this stuff. Somebody claimed that it was really helping their Peyronie's symptoms or making their penis at least feel better. And uh, a lot of guys were very hopeful about it. And, you know, we get so many crazy ideas on the forum. You know, there was the, the toothbrush method um, where you put a, a sonic toothbrush on your penis that seemed to help some guy. And, um, you know, one guy got banned shortly after coming on the forums and recommending his percussion technique where he claimed that hitting his penis with a hammer gently somehow cured his uh, Peyronie's disease. <laughs> Please don't do that. So, you know, we get um, all kinds of stuff on the forums and sometimes it's kind of funny, but, um, you know, it's hard to know like uh, this again, like, you know, another fad, is this really going to work or not? But this one seemed really interesting to me. And then longtime forum member Gabriel made a post, a long post on it saying this stuff was a real game changer for his penile pain. And he's been around for quite a while. So that convinced me I'm going to try it. So here it is. Um, Make sure you get the blue box and not the pink one because the dosage is higher on this stuff. Uh, as you can see, it's marketed for legs uh, because it's marketed for varicose veins, reducing varicose veins and spider veins. And it does work for that. Um, what it is, is it's a heparin derivative and heparin prevents blood from clotting. And it um, yeah prevents hematoma. And so it's interesting because we know that hematoma in the penile tissue itself does contribute or kind of cause Peyronie's. You know, I, I've always theorized that bending after sex or even just bending uh, anytime, penile buckling and stuff is due to hematoma. And I still stand by that. Uh, you know, of course, I, I think after the hematoma, you get kind of a fibrotic condition, fibrosis, and then later you get kind of more obvious fibrosis and scarring. But I do, um, yeah, we know that hematoma is a big part of Peyronie's disease and we want our blood to be thinner. Um, that's why taking natokinase, although it doesn't, you know, uh, eat up your scar tissue, it does thin out your blood and it will make your penis very elastic. And same goes with heat. Heat is really effective precisely, in my opinion, because it reduces hematoma and gets the blood moving through your penis. Same goes for the vacuum devices and even traction. So this stuff did does stand out to me because of that it's like okay a, a blood thinner in a cream form you can put on your penis great so the way guys are using it on the forum is that they're literally rubbing it all over their penis all over the glands and really trying to get it to soak in i didn't put that much on but i did put it on like three times a day um, and really rubbed it in all over and i will tell you uh it make it made my penis feel very good this is my second tube i'm out of it i'm gonna buy a third one um and the reason why I like it, <clears throat> even if it doesn't help the deformity at all, I really like it because it reduces swelling. It definitely reduces swelling and it reduces the prominence of your veins in your penis. So I think one guy on the internet, uh, he actually claims to have been prescribed this uh, from his doctor for um, Mondor's disease, which is swelling of the this large vein on your penis that goes over the, that runs along the top of it. But you can get, um, you know, vascular inflammation in other veins on your penis, such as under the glands. Those um, those ones that appear like kind of ridges under the glands can really stick out. I've had that, you know, really severely in the past, and a lot of guys have that, and they always wonder, is this Peyronie's? You know, and it's just, um, no, it's just veins, man. But uh, that can be hard to get rid of, you know. The only, you know, for me, until now, the way I've dealt with vascular issues in my penis and swelling has been pine bark extract or pycnogenol in the trademarked form, fasting, intermittent fasting, and keto, as well as heat. That's how I've dealt with it. 
but now it's like, great, I have another tool. Um, this really does work. And, you know, I've even put it under my eyes to reduce swelling under my eyes and also on my nose, and, you know, um, because I have a lot of broken capillaries on my nose and under my eyes, and it absolutely works. Um, I think it permanently reduced the capillaries on my nose. Um, I mean, I'm probably, I probably still have some, but it definitely has made my eyes look less swollen. And it actually has been studied for swelling under the eyes after surgery. So that's very cool. Uh, it really seems to work. And, you know, I hate swelling after my vacuum device injury. You know, th there's nothing worse than feeling like you have this, like, you know, water under your skin kind of feeling. Um, even if it's just subtle, I, I don't like that. And yeah, my penis is the, you know, my the skin of my penis feels very tight after using this. So that's awesome. And my veins seem the, the least prominent they've ever been. Um, not only that, but this stuff is apparently very good for your skin. It can kind of restore your skin. And I, I will admit that my penis skin looks very smooth. It looks very good. And I did actually manage to remove um, a part. Um, there was a vein that was kind of going up towards the bottom of the glands that was kind of showing a little bit more than I wanted it to. And it is gone now. I don't notice it. And that's so cool because I was actually kind of freaking out for a while. I was like, oh God, you know, some new change on my penis, you know. But this actually got rid of it. I completely forgot about it. So yes, this stuff is effective. And I think the research backs that up for vascular disorders. And uh, it seems to be, it's an anti-inflammatory to your veins, to your skin, and uh, very good for swelling. So by all means, you know, try to get it if you uh, if you want to, but of course use it at your own risk. Now, okay, does it work for the deformity? Um, I really can't tell, guys. And the guy, you know, other men who I've been talking to who also have used it quite a bit, they're kind of in the same position as me. They're like, well, you know, it feels great to put it on. My, you know, our pen. They're like, you know, my penis feels great. It feels soft elastic, but I just don't know if it's reducing the deformity. And, you know, part of it is that it does make your skin feel a little bit tighter. So it could make the deformity even appear worse when it's not, which is kind of um, something to be aware of. Um, but for me, um, you know, my deformity is very hard to notice now. Okay, so I'm not the best candidate to test this on for a deformity. But it does feel like my it makes my penis tissue feel pretty good. I mean, it's hard to know. It's very, it's very hard to get a topical into the penis tissue unless you're using DMSO. So it's very hard to know. But that said, if you apply this to your glands, it, your penis will absorb it. You know, um, so it's possible that it is getting into your penile tissue. I have no idea. Uh, again, you know, does that have negative effects? I really don't know. Um, from my research, I can't find negative effects. Please do you know, do your own research and let me know if you find any possible negative effects. But um, interestingly, I did, you know, try Googling a lot of different phrases for this and uh, different words. And I found that um, heparin derivatives have been shown to reduce lung fibrosis by blocking um, an enzyme, a type of elastase. And that's really exciting, honestly. But that said, uh, elastase is an enzyme that I believe breaks down scar tissue. So it doesn't quite, it doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand the mechanism there. And so I'm not sure if it's helpful or not helpful. You know, I really don't know. But at least somehow they've been, these uh, derivatives have been shown to reduce lung fibrosis somehow. So that, that's pretty interesting. But that's uh, about it, guys. Um, that's all I wanted to say. Just a short video to kind of tell you what I think about this whole um, this whole topic that's been very popular recently. I, I think it absolutely is great for pain, for swelling, and for any kind of vascular issues you have. So it's kind of hard to find. You might have to look on eBay or elsewhere, depending on where you live. You might not be able to get it. But um, I just wanted to get my opinion out there in case you guys you know saw the thread and were interested. I will post some. Um, I will post the threads in the description of the video. So um, let me know what you think, guys, and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye-bye.